Hi there! So this video is going to show you how to check out a book from the Dobbins Bennett Library um, and actually specifically how to check one out while you were at home during virtual learning. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to my home page on Canvas and I have linked the Dobbins Bennett Library here to make it easier for you. So you'll scroll down to the very bottom and find the DB Library button and you will click there. And internet's been a little slow today, so let's we'll see how we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is the DB Library homepage. Now they have created two buttons for you, and you, the yellow one here is if you want to check out a physical book from the Dobbins Bennett Library. If you want to do that, um, you simply click here. Okay. Now, if you want to do that. Let me go here. Um, what you have to do while you are away during virtual learning is reserve a book. And there are some directions down here, they're highlighted in yellow, that tell you how to do that. Um, basically, what you have to do is sign into your account, your Dobbins Bennett High School Library account, get a login first. And so I am going to log on here. And I this is going to be just your regular username and password. Oops, type better here. Um, same one you would use to get on to your accounts here at school. <clears throat> and log on. <sighs> of course not. Ah, I know why. Sorry, not going to re record this either. There we go, that should do it. Okay, all right. And so you can go and you search a book here. This would be what you would use to search a book that's like actually in our library. So one of us is lying. It's a book that I'm thinking about. Oh, it's actually checked in. All right, and I can click on that book right there and I can actually hit the reserve button over here. Now I'm not going to do that because I don't want them to think that I want this book, but once you hit that reserve button, that is going to sh to reserve the book for you. And if I go back out here to my directions, okay, once you have you hit the reserve button, you will receive an email. And they will email you and let you know when your book is ready for pickup from the uh, front lobby, which is in the science building. So literally, you're just logging on to the DB Library um, catalog and finding a book, reserving the book. And that is all you do there. And, and they'll have it ready for you at the front during distance learning. And you can swing by and pick it up. Another great option, and I really want to spend a little bit of time here because... This is an option even when we're back. You know, once we're back, you'll be able to walk down to the library and check out a book. So you won't need to reserve one and come by and pick it up. But you may really enjoy this option. This is an, an ebook option, okay, an electronic book. So this means if you check out a book this way, you will uh, get the book and it will download straight to your Chromebook, straight to the device that you're using. So let me show you how to do that because you may even want to do that when we're back here in school and be reading on your device. Some people enjoy doing it that way. Okay, now, so once you click that blue button, it's gonna take us to basically the online digital library for all of Kingsport City Schools. So it has these digital books out here in a big cloud. And again, this is your regular username and log on. Mine is always much shorter than yours as students, sorry. Okay, and so you're gonna sign in and it brings you to this whole platform of digital books. Now, I am going to show you, before I show you how to check out a book, I'm going to show you that down here is kind of a toolbar that you'll be using for navigation. You can explore books here. You can search a book up here. Um, there are all kinds of ways to look for a book. What I want to show you right here is that there is, over here where it says explore, there's a couple of options for you. What we're doing right now is we're actually looking in the collection that is Kingsport City Schools. But if you drop down, we have another library and you may have to add this library. You may have to actually go down here and hit add the library. 
And, and what you're going to do, if you have to do that, is you're going to look for something called Tennessee Reads. And the reason I'm sharing with you about Tennessee Reads right now is because that is a statewide digital library that you have access to because you are a Kingsport City School student. And the state library, the Tennessee Reads Library, has thousands of books. And they also have the option for audiobooks, which our digital library doesn't have at the moment. Um, so if you like to listen to a book while you read it, that's a great way to also read a book. Um, you're going to have many more options out there in Tennessee Reads. Again, you may have to click the green button and add Tennessee Reads, but we get access to Tennessee Reads, which is wonderful. The only thing, so Tennessee Reads has thousands of more books. It has audiobooks. The only problem with it is there's often a much longer wait time for a book, okay? And so I'm going to show you, of course, here. We're going to stay in the Kingsport Cities lot here. Um, I'm going to scroll down. I mean, I could go to collections. I could go look at this a number of ways. Um, I'm going to go to collections. And mm, you know what? I'm not going to go to collections because I don't like the way that all of this is. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to these different popular subjects. I'm going to go to young adult fiction, which is what most of you all would be interested in. Okay. And so here... It just kind of filters through a bunch of young adult fiction books. Um, but if I want to filter it down even more, so it's showing me like fantasy, science fiction, it's, but I'm going to do another filter here. I'm interested in some thrillers on a thriller kick right now, okay? And so it's going to filter down and give me some thrillers. So we have tons. This is so wonderful. Okay, so what you're going to do to get a book check it out, download it to your computer, is click borrow right here. It's highlighted in blue, so you click borrow. I'm going to do this One of Us is Lying because this is a great book, and it's downloading it straight to your computer. Now, I was already looking at this book a while back, so it's taken me to where I was um, the last time I opened this book, and so here it is. You can make it bigger. You navigate by clicking your left and right arrows. Mine's kind of acting a little funny here. Um, there we go. Left and right arrows, and you simply just read the book right there on your computer. It's so awesome. Okay, now I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to close it. Okay, and great. Now, one thing that I do want to show you here, I'm back to the books where there are all kinds of options for books. If you see... Um, <clears throat> On down the line in her series here, Two Can Keep a Secret, you'll see if it's not highlighted in blue saying borrow, if it instead says place hold, that means that book has been checked out, okay? So you can place a hold on it, and over here the clock will tell you about how long you have, like this person has it for two weeks. Um, I'm going to tell you, that, you know, there's like one copy in use, but there's nobody else on the waiting list, so you would be next in line for that book, okay? Um, <clears throat> So, you know, if you want to place a hold on a book, you can, but that one's not available for checkout right now. Okay, so this tells you a bunch of things over here, too. It shows that it's been downloaded, that it's due in 13 days, and of course I can renew it. But here's where this toolbar comes in handy. I'm going to go to my bookshelf down here, and it shows you. Okay, here's what you've got on loan. Okay, it will also show you what you have on hold if you've put a book on hold. And so here is the book. Now... If I go to options, which I do want to do, I'm going to return this book. So here's where I can either renew the book or return the book. I'm going to go ahead and return it so it's available to anybody who might be out there trying to get their hands on this book. So there we go. It's that simple. Um, you know, you all are so tech savvy. I'm sure that, that you know, once you play around with this, you're going to um, figure it out. It's just such a great option to have. Um, one thing... I'm trying to get back to explore here. I am going to show you, even though it's going to take a little bit longer here in this video, is once you have added Tennessee Reads, I just want to show you the difference um, between Tennessee Reads and our Kingsport Library. If you go back down here, I searched by popular subject, um, young adult fiction, 338 books. Okay. Um, now I'm going to change my library over to the big state library, Tennessee Reads similar page. You can see now I'm in the Tennessee Reads sort of cloud. Um, 
And if I scroll down to that same young adult fiction, almost 8,000 titles, y'all. So that is like a huge amount of books. I'm going to search for that one that we were looking for in our Kingsport library. One of us is lying. Okay. Once I do that, it's going to show me that, ooh, it's available for me to check out at Kingsport City. But then I come down here, Tennessee Reads. Ah. Oh, man. And you can see it's checked out. Um, and the unfortunate thing here too is, <laughs> it's, you know, five people are waiting. Okay. They've got 25 copies, but they got five people waiting. It looks like it's about an 18 week um, situation there. But what I do want to point out, even though that's a bummer, is that this is, this, if, when you see this, this means that that book is an audio book. So if you can find a book out here that's an audiobook that you want to listen to, that's a great option as well. That's really why I'm showing you Tennessee Reads. So I'm going to go over here. This is the next one in the series, and it looks like the audiobook is actually checked in, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow it just to show you what this looks like. It, it, okay, here it is. It may make you um, do another sign-in. I, I don't know if it does. If it asks you to find your library, you're going to go look for Kingsport City Schools. And if it asks you to sign in using your library card or whatever, then that would just be, again, your regular username and password that you do for all of Kingsport City Schools. So it may ask you that. It's asked me that before, but it recognizes me. And so here I've checked out the book. Um, I'm going to hit play, and it's going to be... By Taryn M. McManus. It's going to read it to me. Read for you by Maria Liatis, Molly Linneman. Fred Berman and Carissa okay. Backer. Trinity Cooper's picture on the baseball team. That nobody needs. Whenever I'm forced to spend time in one, okay. I start thinking about how consumer culture is just one long, expensive, planet-killing distraction from the okay. fact that we're all going to die eventually. Oh my goodness. Then I suck down the last of my $6 <laughs> iced coffee. Okay, so you can see that is awesome. Like, that is super awesome. I'm trying to get out here and I'm failing miserably. Okay, close it out. And I am going to go ahead and return it because I want it to be out there for anybody who's interested in it. Um, simple, like simple enough, simple enough. Um, I just love it. Explore. Okay. Um, let me go look for another book, another thriller that I like. A good girl. <laughs> Girls got to murder. Uh -uh. Okay. Ah, yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Again, so you can see, um, a lot of times Tennessee Reads has it just mm, a longer wait time. Okay. And if I slip back to Kingsport City, um, I'm going to look for that book out here. Yep. Saved it. Oh, we do have it out here to borrow, but as you can see, we do not have an audio copy. So anytime you see the headphones, that means that's an audio version of that book. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a great option. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Um, I can't wait to get you all reading, and I can't wait to see you face-to-face. -face. Um, have a great day.